practice then practice more it is said that the master swordsman nakayama hakudo would practice drawing his sword some 2000 times a day at the haya sizaki temple in one marathon of endurance training he was recorded drawing his sword 10000 times in a single 24 hour period we can imagine the sheer speed required to do this and also the deliberateness to do so many reps in so little time but why would he do such a thing at all because as octavian's teacher arius didymus said practice over a long time turns into second nature we don't rise to the occasion we fall to the level of our training the samurai mushashi was once challenged by a warrior named miyake miyake ganbi a man who thought himself one of the best in the world on his third attack frustrated by his lack of success ganbi charged at mushashi in an aggressive lunge mushashi having prepared for this exact scenario countless times replied that is not what you should do then parried the blow with one sword and watched as the man gashed his own cheek against mushashi's other shot how had he known practice jotan seki ren was mushashi's phrase training from morning to night oh you have done that okay do it some more and after that more 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 a thousand days of training to develop mushashi would write 10000 days of training to polish for a samurai there was no such things as pretty good if a pretty good swordsman met a better fighter he would die it's like the basketball hall of famer bill bradley's observation when you are not practicing refining working somewhere someone else is and when you meet them they will beat you or kill you ganbi was lucky enough to learn this lesson and live to tell about it in fact after mushashi treated the man's wound ganbi accepted that he was outmatched and became mushashi's student training and practicing under him until he was no longer prone to the mistakes that come from such rashness look This is not a drill there is no greatness without practice lots of practice repetitive practice exhausting born crunching soul crushing practice and yet what emerges from this practice is the opposite of those three feelings energy strength confidence you deserve that yes your body will burn but that's the evidence from that burning comes real heat heat you can apply to your craft to your work to your life the cellist pablo casals practiced continually late into his life even long after he was widely considered a master because he believed he was still making progress in fact we might say that progress and practice are synonyms you can't have the former without the later and the later is worthless without the former drawing the sword from the scabbard thrusting blocking to build up your stamina for those skills you lift weights you do conditioning to put it all together you spar it's the same with music you can jam with other talented musician you can put all those sessions together to learn new songs but before all that as castles did you can simply practice your scales in your bedroom for hours upon hours what are those scales for you you better know and you better be doing them 
no matter what you do practice will make you better florence nightingale wanted young nurses to understand that nursing was an art that required a hard as hard preparation as any painter or sculptor's work only you know what it will look like to train in your art like a samurai an olympic athlete a master in pursuit of excellence only you will know what you need to practice from morning until night what to repeat 10000 times it won't be easy but in that burden is also freedom and confidence the pressure of the flow state the rhythm of second nature the quiet calmness of knowing that from the practice you will know exactly what to do when it counts the pride and the dependability of doing it too